Hey guys, I'm Kim Diana and welcome back to my channel. First of all, please excuse the buzzing sound that you may hear throughout this video kasi binungsan ko lang yung aircon kasi hindi ko talaga matiis. Ang init talaga sobra. Anyway, for today's video, I have here with me my current favorites that I will share to you. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So before we go to the makeup stuffs, I'll first show to you some makeup tools which I really really love as of the moment. And let me begin with this sculpting brush from Real Techniques. Yes, you saw that right. It just says here that it's a Real Techniques brush but it's not. This is just a replica. But you know what for me, it doesn't really matter if my brushes or my makeup tools are replicas kasi okay naman siya para sa akin. It's soft naman and very comfortable talaga kapag gagamitin mo siya sa face mo. And for me lang ha, um, I'd rather buy yung mga replica or yung mga SG Cosmetics na brushes or yung mga makeup tools instead of buying the original ones that costs a thousand and up. Ewan ko para sa akin kasi brush lang naman yan and as long as comfortable naman siya pag gagamitin mo, as long as um, maayos siya, yung soft siya, yung hindi siya magaspang sa face, ayos sa akin yun. Actually, to be honest, majority of my makeup brushes here are just replica. Wala talaga akong masabi pagdating sa um, replica na brushes. Talagang, ang gaganda talaga nila kasi malambot siya, hindi mo talaga siya akalain na um, SG lang or yung replica lang. But if makeup itself na talaga yung pag-uusapan, maybe I will have second thoughts on buying. Kasi di ba much better pa rin when it comes to makeup, yung talagang authentic, yung original talaga. Kasi kapag uh, mga SG lang, SG Cosmetics, or yung mga replica, we didn't even know what it contained na pwedeng makaharap sa face nyo. Pero pag eyeshadow or yung mga pangkilay, okay sa akin yun. There's nothing wrong about that kapag SG. Sa akin lang, yung mga ilalagay mo na talaga siya sa face mo, like yung mga contour, yung mga blushes, especially yung foundations kasi lalagay mo talaga siya on the rest of your face. Medyo alanganin ako doon. Or even your lipsticks. For me, you have to think twice if you're really willing to risk yourself on buying makeup without knowing if it's safe or not. Kasi di ba may mga ibang lipsticks na medyo mataas yung lead content which is really harmful sa atin. Kaya ayun. But just a disclaimer, it's on my own thoughts lang ha. So anyway, medyo na pala yun yung usapan natin. As I've said a while ago, this um, sculpting brush is my favorite brush as of the moment in contouring my face. Because using this brush, I can instantly see how it sculpts my face. And I find it really easy to use. Pero I'm not just using this for contouring my face. I also use this for applying my blush. What I'll just do is, kapag nagamit ko na siya for contour, I'll just grab a tissue and isasmudge ko na yung product na natira dun sa brush. Para hindi magmix yung contour product at saka yung blush na ilalagay ko. And another thing that I like about this is, Sobrang sobrang soft niya talaga kaya hindi mo talaga akalain na replica lang siya. By the way, I got this from Pretty Angel Shop and it costs 250 pesos. Next is this blending sponge. By the way, at first akala ko ang tawag dito is Beauty Blender but it's not. Beauty Blender pala is a brand and I will not take credit of that. Um narinig ko lang siya somewhere. Hindi ko lang matandaan kung kanino. So, gustong-gusto ko rin tong product na to kasi ang lambot, lambot, lambot din niya. Meron na kasi akong blending sponge before and I got that from Sansan. Hindi teardrop yung shape niya eh. Um, yung shape niya ay... Ano ba tawag doon? Uh, ayun, pag gold shape siya. Pero yun kasi matigas. Tsaka pag gagamitin mo siya, parang, parang ang gaspang ng foam niya, tsaka ang um, sakit kapag gagamitin mo siya. Pero ito kasi, um, maganda. Gustong gusto ko siya kasi nga malambot siya. Yung tip niya, patosok, kaya kapag magweblend ako ng concealer, madali na lang magblend and madali na lang abutin yung ditong part, yung ditong area. By the way, at first, I thought it's not expanding kasi when I got this, sobrang sobrang liit niya talaga. And I just realized na nag expand pala siya when I tried to put it back again dun sa lalagyanan niya and hindi na siya nagkasya. Ngayon kasha siya kasi it's not dumb. Pero pag once na dump to, yung medyo basa-basa siya, uh, mapapansin mo na lalaki talaga siya. By the way, please bear with me if I forgot to mention where and how much is the product that I will share to you. But rest assured, I'll just leave it on the description box. Meanwhile, every time I'm making makeup tutorials, you would notice that I always wear some false eyelashes. Kasi for me, parang hindi kumpleto yung makeup look ko if I don't wear some falsies. And since then, this Nishido eyelash glue was always there for me para magawa ko yung step na yon. 
Kaya if ever na may plano akong gumawa ng makeup tutorials and naubusan ako nito, I opted not to film na muna kasi sobrang importante talaga nito sa akin. Minsan, kapag bumibili kayo ng false eyelashes, um, it comes with a glue already. Pero kasi, for me, parang hindi talaga siya madikit. Though nadikit naman siya, pero nagsistruggle ako. Lalo na dito sa part, dito sa inner corner na part, nagsistruggle talaga ako dyan. But with this Nishido eyelash glue, it is easier. Sobrang dikit niya talaga and napakatipid niya. And I think it's only 60 pesos and has a good quality. I love it. Next, moving on with the makeup and let me start off with this Fashion 21 Mascara. I know nasabi ko na siya dun sa January favorites ko pero isasama ko pa rin to kasi favorite na favorite ko talaga siya. You know what, when I got this, I've been using this forever. Kasi it really lengthens my lashes. Sobrang napapahaba niya talaga yung pilik mata ko. Kapag tatanggalin ko na to, um, it doesn't really smudge. Instead, Parang magbubuo-buo lang siya, parang magiging powdery lang siya. Pero hindi talaga siya magsasmudge. Unlike ng mga ibang mascara dyan na kapag iwawash nyo, talagang magsasmudge siya. Talagang mangingitim na yung mata nyo. But with this, hindi talaga siya nagsasmudge. Kaya, I really, really love this. Kaya, if you still don't have this yet, you should go ahead and try this. Kasi it's really worth your money. It is very affordable. It's only 225 pesos. Next is this. Etude House Stay Up Foundation and I'm in the shade Sand. I really love this. It really is a good foundation because number one, it is really lightweight. Parang kapag susuotin mo siya, kapag gagamitin mo siya, parang wala lang. Parang wala ka talagang mafe-feel na may nilagay kang foundation sa face mo. Then number two, it has a good longevity. If you're new on my channel, I have an oily skin and having an oily skin, it is really difficult to find a perfect foundation for you. But what I noticed about this is medyo matagal akong mag-oil up dito. And if ever naman na kapag oily ako, um, yung oily na hindi bothering tignan, hindi yung nakaka-distract tignan. And every time na magbablat ako, parang I don't feel na I have to retouch na. Then number three, it is travel friendly. Every time we go somewhere like sa school or if ever na may pupuntahan kami, Ito yung lagi kong dala kasi hindi siya babasagin. And patsub din siya kaya hindi ka mamamroblema na magkalat-kalat yung um, product. And number 4, it has an SPF 30 which I really really love. Mm, ayun lang, it's a little pricey for me kasi 700 yung price niya, I believe. Pero I know it's not exact 700 eh, basta dun nagre-range yung price niya. But when I got this, uh, may promo yung Etude House nun, kaya I got another one pa. Next item is another foundation and this is the Maybelline Gym Satin Skin Foundation and I'm in the shade B2. I really love this foundation kasi ang ganda na finish niya. It really has a satin finish, yung medyo dewy. Kasi though I have an oily skin, I still prefer yung mga foundation that has dewy finishes. Kasi mas youthful siyang tignan. Unlike yung kapag mat na mat yung foundation, parang ang dull niyang tignan, parang hindi magandang tignan. Yun nga lang, the only downside of this is yung longevity niya. Hindi siya long lasting. And I'm speaking on behalf of those people who have an oily skin like me. But for me, carry na sa akin yun. What I just do na lang is use a primer and a mattifying powder para kahit pa paano magtagal siya. It's available to all Maybelline counters and it costs 500 pesos yata. I'm not sure the exact price but I will just leave it on the description box. And moving forward sa lipsticks and I have three here. Um, ano ba unahin ko? Okay, let me start off with this Matte Me Ultra Smooth Lip Cream from Sleek. And this is what the packaging looks like. Ang ganda ng packaging niya. It's very sophisticated, professional tignan. I super love this lipstick, as in sobra. By the way, ito pala yung gamit ko ngayon. And I know hindi ko pa siya nasi-feature sa kahit na anong videos ko, but ito talaga yung lagi kong ginagamit na lipstick kapag naalis. Kasi ang ganda-ganda talaga ng color niya. Ultra smooth talaga siya. Tsaka lightweight din siya. Parang kapag isusot mo to, parang hindi mo rin feel na may suot kang lipstick. And what I really love this talaga is yung color niya. Ang ganda talaga ng color. Let me swatch it for you. Ayan, yan yung color niya. Medyo may pagka-pink siya. Nude pink. 
perfect siya for morena skin tone like me. But it has a downside. Yung longevity niya, it has a poor longevity. Hindi talaga siya long lasting. Um, expect nyo na after eating one meal, especially if it's greasy, expect nyo na that it will come off. But I wouldn't mind reapplying this kasi gustong gusto ko talaga yung color niya. And kapag naubusan ako nito, I will definitely get another one. It's available sa mga sleek counters. Yun nga lang, I'm not sure, pero sa SM MOA, Mega Mall, or Manila lang yata available yung sleek. And yung price niya is 400 to 500. I'm not sure, basta I will just leave it down below. Next is this Fashion 21 Lipstick All Day Matte in All Day Bronze. Ayan. All Day Bronze. I love this color super and let me swatch this for you. Ayan yung ano niya. Ayan yung color niya. Ang ganda-ganda talaga ng color niya. Um, parang ang fresh-fresh niyang tignan. Parang perfect siya for everyday use. Sayang nga eh, um, natunaw siya sa sobrang init. Kaya naging ganito yung itsura niya. Nangalahati siya. <laughs> Nangalahati siya. Pero anyway, what I really love about this, aside from the color, is it really glides on smoothly sa lips. And kahit na matte siya, hindi siya yung dragging. It's very pigmented. Nagtatransfer siya, yes. But yung staying power niya, um, nag-iiwan siya ng tint dun sa lips mo, which I really love. Kesa sobrang ganda nito, I'm planning to buy more colors of this. Kaya I really recommend this lipstick for you. It's so affordable. It's only 175 pesos. So last is this Mina Kiss Proof in number 6. No more explanation because I have a review on this. If you want to check that out, I will just put the link on the description box. So that's it guys. Sorry kung medyo nagmamadali na ako kasi lakas na ng ulan. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you again on my next video. And if you want to see anything on my channel, please let me know in the comment section below. Bye guys!